that's my daughter's little bronze bream box and I'll just go through everything that we're using here we've got some lovely little uh, floats for our bronze bream over there we've got number one and number two um, CZ 68 hooks that's a long shank hook over there we've got a whole lot of power swivels obviously we've got some quarter anti-tangle free sleeves and again what have we got here some gummy stops a huge piece of pool noodle for all my hooks once I've actually tied my traces um, I'm using the pool noodles maximum 10 kilos this is going to be a four part um, introduction on uh, bronze beam fishing as you know uh, we've got corona around I think this is day two maybe three maybe four who knows no shaving a little bit of uh, maxima scissors just to help us out so what we're doing is very simply taking our hook our long shank hook CZ 68 and making a figure of eight one two three times around it's a long shank hook and the reason we use the long shank hooks are for cracker so when uh, day 21 comes and we all finished with our uh, coronavirus segregation I can go and catch some bronze bream which will be around next month so there we go and I'll make it about 30 to 40 centimeters long cut it off and all I'm gonna do now is just stick it onto my pool noodle obviously there's 25 in a pack so I've got another five or six to go and uh, once I've done all my knots and that I'll come back to showing you how we actually put the whole trace together and hook snoot. Oh. Lubricate, don't forget to lubricate. Don't cough on anybody when you do that. And doops. Doop, doop, doops. And we're ready to go again. Basically the CZ68s uh, are all tied. There's 25 of them. This is a number two long shank, ideal like I said for the cracker and that. So all of them are tied with 10 kilo maxima, it gives a lot of movement. That's ready. Now I'm going to go into step two, which is basically taking the float, putting the float on with a gummy stop. Very simply, what we do is we take our, our hook there, our CZ68 uh, gummy stop. Uh, find a lovely little float. There we go, a kingfish uh, oval shaped float. Stick that on. We take our uh, gummy stop, as you can see. Now, what happens is it is a piece of metal with a gummy stop attached to it. And to pull it off nicely, we just lubricate slightly, like that. Give it a little kiss. It's sticking there, and we take our fingers and we just pull. There we go, it's off. Okay. Now that is basically a limited slide for our Kingfisher float, so it'll only go as far as that gummy stop that we have over there. And stick him on the opposite side and carry on going with our production line. Grab it again, stick it on, straight through our gummy stop, pull it, lubricate and pull. Slide down. And there we go and we just carry on doing that until we've done all 25 of them okay there's my lovely daughter lee helping me out here she's put the float on she's now going to put the gummy stuff on come on come on here we go all the way down to the float and there we go thank you lee thank you for your help and there we go with our production line, carrying on. This is the last one of 25 and it's taken all my daughter all of three minutes to try and finish. And there we go. And she's just getting faster and faster at it. The next step is to make the figure of eight knots for the helicopter rigs. Which is very easy to do and that entails using Siglon fluorocarbon and there we go 
There's a whole row of 25 gummy stops with the Kingfisher things done. Thank you, Lee. Well done. So what I've got here is uh, 19 kilo Siglon full of carbon or 22 kilo. It's up to you, depending whether you're fishing in very rocky area, 22. If you're fishing over sand, scattered rocks and that, 19 kilo. Okay. So what you do is you make this about 800 long and we tie a figure of eight. Now how we do that is we go through and through again. So it's basically a double figure of eight knot. Pull it until it gets tight, lubricate, pull it until it gets tight. A one meter length, take our scissors again and we just cut it. We take one clear bead, oh that was a bead, one clear bead, stick it through. We then take our little number six power swivel. Slide it all the way down. Grab another little bead, clear bead, and there it is. There. It's very small, very minute. Ooh. And what we do is we put it through, so that's what it looks like. And we pull it all the way down until it gets there. Then we tie another figure of eight. But remember, it's a double figure of eight. So we go through once, twice. We just slide it down to where the actual uh, knot is over there, to the swivel. And just using our finger, we just try and get it as close as we can. So at least there's a little bit of space in between where it can rotate around to form the figure of eight. There we go. There's our swivel rotating. And we just do 25 of those. So let's carry on going. Uh, grab some more clear beads. And there we go again. Swivel. Next little bead. It's as quick and easy as that, guys. Figure of eight. Double figure of eight. Go through the loop once. Go through the loop twice. Okay. Slide it all the way down to where the actual swivel is, as you can see. Full tight. There we go. And we just repeat that 25 times. So basically, we've got our double um, swivels. We take our anti, uh, our quarter anti tangle free sleeve, put it on the bottom hook. Bottom hook is normally a lot longer than the top hook. Obviously because of the angle that you're actually fishing at when you're fishing for the bream and the depth of water. Like I said, it's a search trace. The bream could be near the bottom, especially if you're very elevated. Or it could be higher in the water column, depending how deep the water actually is. So we'll go like that quickly. It's a good trace to use if there's black tile around, stumpies, you know, could be anything. Is the first one tied. Second one coming up now. There's quite a long trace. So this is more for your longer rods, heavier tackle. Okay. There we go. All comes loose. Slide it down, onto it, okay, so there we go, this is the double hook trace for bronze beam that we use, and like I said, if there's other fish around, there could be shed, there could be um, black tail, rock rod, stuff like that, it's a very good trace to use for searching for other fish species, okay, guys go out there, make as many as you want. Because in another 18, 19 or 20 days time, we're going to be fishing for them. Okay, so basically to put the double hook trace away, I've got these little Enova um, holders, if you want to call it that. Take the hook, put it in, and all we do is you just wrap it around. It's as quick and easy as that. 
Here we go. Here we go. Take my second hook in there. Okay, and then obviously they come with these little pins, which are so nice because now all I do is is I'll push it down like that and that keeps everything a go so there we go there's a whole lot of double hook ones done the single hook ones are just as easy all I do for instance this side take it there and I just wrap it around like so until I get to the last double hook piece of nylon paper clip that I've cut and all I do is just push it in there and that's how easy it is to keep it nice neat and tidy like so again and we just wrap it up get there take another one and that's it guys I'll just carry on doing that and then all of them will be finished so there we go there's our bronze beams done for this year um.